La la. At Two Point Hospital, over 52% of our patients believe they leave healthier than when they arrived. Our precisely calibrated equipment is operated by compassionate healthcare practitioners, many of whom have even been to medical school or watched ER. If you suffer from turtle head, let us ease your worries and noggin gently out of your body. Mmm. Just infection is no laughing matter. Put your trust and oversized shoes in our capable hands. We're building a brighter, safer future, and hardly anything will stand in our way. You deserve the best. So join us at Two Point Hospital. We're open for new staff, new patients, and a new you. Can I go play golf yet? I'm teeing off at three. Hello, peeps, and welcome to Two Point Hospital. Yay! A few weeks ago, I did record some hospitals in the demo version where we went into quite in-depth look at how the actual game uh, works, the mechanics and playstyle, tips and hints, and now we're going to put them into practice as we get into deeper, more difficult levels. Uh, I took a vote back then to see if you would like me to continue or if you would like me to start from the beginning again, and the vote was overwhelming to start again. So that is exactly what we will be doing. You can see here, I have a Blala Healthcare stream save because I am also streaming this game on Twitch. Should you wish to um, watch those, you can follow me on Twitter and then you'll know when I go live, they will progress much faster than the uh, YouTube series will. Uh, get a clue of what might be happening in the future. So for now, we shall start a new game. Here we are, look, welcome to Two Point County. I'm Albert Crank. I'll be your trusty advisor on this journey. Um, this is Hogsport, and here's your first hospital. Click on it to get started. I used to call him Spalding, um, but it looks like he's now Albert Crank. He finally has a name, everybody. He finally has a name. Isn't that wonderful? So here we are in the lovely Two Point County, um, and we'll be able to progress forwards you can see that um i've moved across the map like this in the uh, stream um but we haven't quite ugh, unlocked stuff up here yet um but yes look at the beautiful little town of hogsport isn't it pretty it's like a little harbour town look it's lovely it, it's so quaint and lovely in this nice picturesque field patchwork of fields so Hogsport, let's jump in. Welcome to Two Point County. Are you ready to start building your first hospital and curing some patients? Yes, I am. So let's look around the hospital. So we'll do that. Let's uh, move about. Let's zoom out. It goes a bit faster if I zoom out. There we go. Brilliant. There we go. Ah, reception. The first thing the hospital will need is a reception. Patients will head here when they arrive at the hospital. Let's build a reception desk near the entrance. Yes. Yes. Here we go. Look, patients can register here when they arrive at the hospital. Perfect. That's exactly what we want. So, um, let's see here. I think I will put it in front of the door this time. I don't think I did last time, but this time we are. Great. We'll need an assistant to run reception. Let's hire one now. Okay, so we're going to hire an assistant. Look, look, Albert's on it down here. Hire assistants. So look, we have Shane. Um, class clown, inspiring, suitably um, dexterous, so entertaining, that's the class clown, he's an entertainer, entertains people with their sweet dance moves, so he likes to dance, and when he dances, pe uh, people um, are, well, they entertain, so maybe less bored, it might help reduce people's boredom, maybe, and inspiring, inspires other people, not sure, maybe that makes them happy, uh, Robin here, they are. You do need to trust trust me with your life. Um, tires easily. Mm. So that means, look, lazy. Wants more frequent breaks. He is hygienic, though. The boy next door makes him the heartthrob, the target of unrequited idolization. Um, which means that uh, I think he can upset people. He can cause bad moods in others, perhaps. 
uh, Mervyn here. Look at this. A natural mentor, motivated. So he's got this teacher. He's a plus 50% training speed. Uh, motivated means he walks faster. Look, he moves 20% faster than other people. And he, has, he, ha he hasn't owned a pencil. He's never owned a pencil. Now, I quite like Mervyn here, not only because his employee reference is good, but look at this. He has some training in customer service. 50%, plus 50% customer service skills. So he's... Mervyn Phantom is our man. There we go. Pop him to service reception. There we go. Fantastic. And look at the moustache to boot. Uh, a, a general practitioner's office. GP office. Great. Before we officially open, we'll need a GP's office. Patients will visit a doctor working as a GP at each stage of diagnosis. The GP will assist patients and decide... Um, no, not assist them. He will assess them. <laughs> uh, uh, the GP will assess patients and decide if they are ready for treatment or if they require further diagnosis. Yes. Um, so let's build a room then. Let's do it. So we can see here GP's office, diagnosis, consultation and basic human interaction. Um, so patients must visit a GP at each stage of diagnosis. So they can, they can get a bit full of cues so we can see here we've got a minimum room size of three by three but i also like to just add a little nook a little nook here are now not to, have dark thoughts. not to have dark thoughts so we can see here that we've got these little stars this means that these are required items um in order to build this room so we'll put these in talk music and news to the whole of two point county and if you're listening to us from the newly opened hospital, just Ooh. turn up that volume because nothing drowns out the sound of sick people like the voice of a world-class DJ. Coming up next, 42 hours of music from the background band. Enjoy! The, the background band. There we are. Put a plant in. That's nice for them. I think he could also do with a bin. What do we think? I reckon. Shall we give him an extra window, maybe? Maybe an extra... Uh, mm, maybe not. Maybe not in this hospital. I don't know. Saying that, I might stick one here, even though there is a bit of a... <laughs> even though this is encroaching. There we go. There we go. Fantastic. And you can see here that we don't at the moment have many items unlocked. So we're pretty limited on what we can do here. But you can see here that we can see lots of items. And this is just some of them. More will get added as you progress through the game. And then you can make these rooms just so beautiful. Um, look at this. Look at the detail of this. Isn't it lovely? Um... So, but this this is good enough. We've got all the required items. This is how much it's going to cost me uh, to build it. We've got it to level two in room prestige. That means uh, people uh, are a little bit happier than a, a level one room uh, when they're in it, but not. Avoid death when possible. Yes, please do avoid death. <laughs> avoid it at all costs. Um, level five is the highest that you can get a room to, I believe. Um, so, of course, the higher the prestige, the happier people are inside this room. We're going to build that. Boom! There it is. Excellent. We do now need a doctor. Doctor whom? Let's hire one now. Um, so, hire. Thank you. It did have to show me for some reason. There we go. Now, i got to be honest. There's no decent GP here. None of these are geared towards GP. This, this doctor here has got some treatment and some diagnosis skill. Um, Nigel Broccoli. He is motivated. He has a dark side. Evil. Enjoys doing evil things. I wonder how that translates into the game. Does he pull pranks on other people and upset them? Not sure. Not sure. I look forward to finding out. Part-time living room gymnast. Oh, yeah. I think a lot of us are a bit like that. Um, Alexa. Oh, I've got to be careful saying that name around it. I do have Alexa. I don't want to set her off. <laughs> um, just has a treatment. I say just has a treatment. Still makes her pretty good. Um, but I don't have anybody, a natural mentor, so she'd be a good teacher. She gets hangry, becomes nasty when, uh, when hungry, which would reduce her happiness. Spends a summer as a sheepdog. What? What? Charlotte here has a weak bladder, so she needs to toilet more often, but she's also a fast learner. Uh, a handful of parties. Okay. Um, I've got to be honest, I don't, don't really want any of them. I think what we might do is employ Charlotte here. I know that Nigel seems like the sensible bet, but 
but I think actually I'm going to go with Charlotte. You know, I've been I have my reasons. Oh. Love the radio. It's a little bit quiet. Maybe I uh, might need to turn up the uh, DJ so we can hear them a little better. Good news, our hospital is now open for business. Yay! The first hospital is open for business. Patients are starting to arrive after they register at reception. They'll be sent to the GP for diagnosis. Now, do you know what I've just realised? I'm just going to go on here. Oh, oh, okay, hang on. We'll be back. I'm just going to click on here. This takes us back to this map view. Right? Because what I've realised, I haven't named the foundation, and I do like to name it Lala Healthcare. Uh, I am also just going to put YouTube here because I have a stream series and a YouTube series. I don't want to get them mixed up. <laughs> we don't want to be progressing the YouTube series save <laughs> on stream. No, no, no. There we go. Keep them separate. So there we are. There's our foundation name. Perfect. Let's go back in. Let's see how quick that is. Isn't it fantastic? Right, let's keep an eye out for our first patient. Yes, I would like to do that. Let's do the zoom and the rotate the camera. You can also pitch it with the little mouse button. There we go. So here comes our first patient, everybody. Look, Ace from Arsh. So heading to reception. So we get to see the, the whole process here. Yeah. Um, we've got, look, all of her moods. Not too attractive, the hospital. Now, I mean, she's going to go straight in. But we could put some things down that just help, like this will help reduce boredom, a bench for her happiness. Maybe we could just make it a little more attractive, the hospital, you see? Ooh, so she saw our GP. Now, the GP, we've diagnosed our first patient. So the GP diagnosed her straight away. That's fantastic. The GP has sent you a message. Have a look at the message list in the bottom right. Ooh, this is our messages. Looks like we'll need to build a pharmacy to treat the patient. Excellent. Okay. So, we can see here there's a pharmacy required. Our doctors have discovered a new illness, grout. Grout is frequently transmitted in bathrooms. And modern medication is effective, unlike earlier times when it had to be dug out painfully with a screwdriver. So, what we need to do here, the patient is seeking treatment and uh, we'll need a pharmacy in order to treat them, which will cost look, 7,600 doubloons to build. We've, we, we've, we've got this. Uh, would you? What would you like to do? Now, we could send them home, but I am actually going to build the pharmacy and hire a nurse right now. So we're going to get them to wait while we do that. So we've now unlocked the pharmacy. It cures a range of illnesses. It does. And we're going to pop, I think. Um, the pharmacy are going to have a sort of a similar deal. I think what I might do. I just, like I just like talking into a microphone. Me too. Um, there we go. So we've got a door, and look at this. The uh, legend has it that a tiny pharmacist lifts in each machine, produces a cocktail of drugs. <laughs> so, what we're going to do, I'm actually going to put this on the jaunt in the corner. Now, you may think, oh, it's so far away from the wall, but as you upgrade the machines, you can physically see the upgrades so they it grows bigger and that so this is just giving us enough space so that we can upgrade the machine as time goes by um what is this the, a pharmacy is required there must be somebody else in yeah look they both need the pharmacy that's absolutely fine it's absolutely fine we're just going to pop a plant in here um maybe we could pop a bin in as well that may not be so bad um and also I'm going to put a window just there. So they can't overlook people getting treatment. But, um, you know, windows are good for prestige. And it makes the staff happy. It makes the staff happy. There we go. So we can do that. And again, I think I might just pop down a Benny here. Excellent. There we go. Because we don't have a nurse. So they're going to start waiting. Oh, look at this. Pretty good... Um, pretty good doctor uh gp look they've got the gp skill um but we're working on the nurse right now pharmacy. we don't have nurse. any nurses with a, a pharmacy skill but that's okay green fingers charming and inspiring blimey sounds all right 
Um, we've got Timmy here, who has a motivation, which makes him a little bit faster. We've got Vladimir. I think we are actually just going to stick with Oscar. He's fantastic. There we go, Oscar. Brilliant. Excellent. And then, this is our first patient. Here she is. Ace came in. You can see she's got grout here. Now she's going for her cure. In the pharmacy. And we'll make all these rooms really nice at some point when we've unlocked more items. There we go. Here comes the... Knock them back. And she was cured. We were successful. Look at that. We did it. So good. You're a patient cured. Well done. We've cured our first patient. We've earned some money. Brilliant. And the hospital's reputation has improved, um, which will attract more patients. When a doctor or nurse treats a patient, their ability will influence the chance of success. Some illnesses are tougher than others. Yeah, so this, so grout's quite an easy one. We've got somebody who's not even trained in GP, in general practice, and they diagnosed it straight away. Um, but that's because it's an easy illness. But the more complicated the illnesses get, that GP that we've got wouldn't be able to diagnose it at all. Wouldn't be able to diagnose it at all. Um, continue diagnosing and treating patients to keep money coming in uh, so we can expand it's the hospital. It's the same here with Oscar. He's got no pharmacy training and this machine is uh, very low grade. So if it was a complicated illness, the medicines coming out of this would probably kill the patient. But we have, we're have we starting easy with grout. Uh, janitors and maintenance. Now that we've got some expensive machinery, we should think about looking after it. Machines will deteriorate with use. Didn't say that very well. And we'll need repairing from time to time. If a machine falls into disrepair, it can be a fire hazard. Uh, fires are generally considered bad for business. And they do. Um, I, when I was streaming the demo, uh, we deliberately set fire to machines just to see what would happen and the janitors do run for the fire extinguishers to put the fires out and all that sort of stuff and the machines will eventually explode as well if you don't um, put the fire out but unlike theme hospital when a room blows up now you can move the debris and uh, replace the machinery you're no longer condemning a room uh, to inter uh, to uh, eternal damnation uh, hire a janitor to maintain machines uh, and while you're at it make sure you've got some fire extinguishers nearby uh, better safe than sorry right indeed and we don't have any fire extinguishers near this machine at all so what we're going to do is we're going to click on the room because we can see the information about the pharmacy here and look we've got the queue and you can actually Look, they have slightly <laughs> sat down. Again. Um, we had slightly less health, so you can rearrange the queue. And uh, what we're going to do is just uh, go to items here, and we've got fire extinguisher. And uh, we're not going to put it too close to the machine because if it was on fire, I would rather they didn't get too close to it before grabbing the fire extinguisher. Uh, so there we go. It doesn't even have to be in the room. You could put a fire extinguisher outside. They will go to the nearest one. So we need a janitor. Um, so look at this. We've got janitor that's good at upgrading machines. Although, look, Alice per Periwinkle's quite good. The girl next door, so she's a heartthrob, so she could upset people around her. Um, but she is positive, I think, and she's an entertainer. Um, so, and she can bust ghosts, which is what's really attracting me about her. So I think we'll, I think we'll have. Alice here, that's it. Yes. I mean, who doesn't like gardening? Digging up a bit of gardening. Soil, sticking your hands in a bit of manure. Oof. Oh, I can almost smell it now. Oh, <laughs> wait, the sewage pipes burst again. Oh dear. <laughs> no, my mistake. Anyway, keep those fingers green. Oh my god. Okay, Ricky Hawthorne. That's one of the DJs. Um, hospital reputation increases with each patient successfully cured, but decreases when a, a treatment fails, especially if a patient dies. Yeah, so if treatment fails, it doesn't necessarily mean they will die. Um, uh, they, it may just fail, they're not cured, they leave the hospital and you lose a bit of reputation. But if they do die, we lose, we lose even more reputation. A higher reputation attracts more patients and better staff for hire. So it is important. It 
is important. Um, and look at this. We've discovered a new illness, clamp. Once this grips a patient, it doesn't let go. <laughs> Afflicts many living statues and selfie-taking chumps. Again, um, uh, we'll send the patient for treatment. So we, we cure clamp at the pharmacy, look. So we there's no action there. It's just information. Excellent. Excellent. So what we could do, actually, is maybe maybe we could uh, put down like some drinks machines and that. We've got people sort of kicking about the hospital. Um, so we'll do that. And if we've got drinks and snacks machine, we should probably put a bin down. And they might also get a bit bored. So I'll put this down. This helps reduce boredom. Here we go. See, it says reduces boredom there. Uh, we could also do with just make it a little bit more attractive over here as people are spending time. So now, look, we've got Je Jezebel here in the mood. So they, if they get thirsty, so our assistant's just gone on a break. Look, if they get thirsty um, or hungry, they can come over here, look. And it seems that he is currently on a break. Oh, should we place a second fire extinguisher? I didn't see that. Look, place two fire extinguishers. Let's do it. There we go. Charlie work done. Excellent. Because, yeah, our assistant is currently on break. And he's now dealing with his needs. Look, he's put his rubbish away. Keeping people happy. It's important to keep your staff and patients happy to ensure the hospital runs smoothly. That's what we were just doing, isn't it? Uh, patients will get bored. Yes, this is why we have this. Thirsty and hungry over time. Make sure they have access to entertainment, food, drinks and a comfy seat uh, when they're between appointments. If they become unhappy, they will leave to go to another hospital. They do. They rage quit. They rage quit. They don't like it at all. Um, so the, the key here is, okay, there may be a little queue building up here, but, um, oh, he's wearing a two-point t-shirt, but we don't um, want to panic and think, oh, we need to hire another assistant. He's fine. He'll work through the queue. He's, he's got this. He's got this. Staff energy and breaks. Staff get tired as they work and will eventually go on a break. A staff room will help them relax and return to work energized. Drinks and snacks help them uh, help keep them happy too. So you can put these in the staff room, these vending machines, which is great. If you make a large room and fill it with interesting items, it will be considered more prestigious. People using a high prestige room will become happier. That's what we're talking about over here with the GP room. A nice staff room will also help staff regain energy faster isn't that great so nice and big um, and all this sort of business look we've opened it now we've unlocked it now we don't want it too close to this area please because it staff is just for staff. Please, contact a member of staff please contact a member of staff i think what we'll do we'll put it i think we'll put it back here um and i think i might make it no, I, might, I might make it fairly big you know um i might make it fairly big yeah, it should be all right. And what we'll do is we'll do my little nook again. Do my little nook. I think we might put the door in here. And it has to have a sofa, as you can see here. It has to have a sofa. So, oh. So I'll pop a sofa in. But we're going to put a few extra bits in. We've got look, some nice armchairs. Let's go with it. Um, and look at all these things you can unlock. Dart table, uh, dart boards, coffee tables, lamps, bean bags. Um, the arcade machine. Can't wait to get my hands on that. More snacks machines and things. It's great. It's great. Uh, but for the time being, this is what we have. So we'll get them some no, drinks, some cheesy garbins, um, and they'll need a bin uh, if they're going to have those things. We could also just make the place... A little bit nicer perhaps to spend time in and look at these nurse lo lockers a tiny private space they used to be called nurse locker <laughs> and now they're just called lockers oh. right let's i need oh, i think before in the demo we couldn't actually put these in the staff room so this is this is new i like the fact that we can put these in the staff room that's good call good call um and we probably could do with also um, having some windows it just makes them a little bit happier but we don't I don't really want um, 
to cause uh, too much of a privacy issue while they're relaxing. Mind you, there shouldn't be too many patients kicking around this, this area over here. Not really. But there we are. I think that's it. There's our staff room. Boom. Excellent. So, staff will head to a staff room when they're on break. Uh, fill the room with interesting items to help them become fully refreshed before their break ends. Note that you can place a member of staff in a staff room to make them take a break or in the room to make them work there. Uh, to pick up a member of staff, uh, there's, there's, yeah, we can. There's a couple of ways. So, we could do it that way. Okay. But we could also come over here and pick up the staff member. And look, she is she is quite tired. So, you know, we might watch her go through her break and see how she uses the room. Drinks and snacks are great for keeping people happy, but they can lead to littering if there are no bins nearby. Uh, we've seen people using our bins, haven't we? While uh, we're at it, staff and patients will get pretty grumpy if they don't have access to any toilets. <gasps> we don't have any toilets. Uh, you might want to invest in some quality porcelain. Uh, janitors will help maintain all of these. Uh, restocking vending machines, sweeping up litter, emptying bins, and unblocking toilets. Wow, the chances are amazing. The chances are amazing. So we've now unlocked the toilet. So what we're going to do, we are going to pop her on break. Now she probably needs the toilet and she is now on break. Yes, she really needs the toilet. What we might do is just pause this a minute and build a toilet um, so that she can go. Now, where do we want the toilet? Now, patients are going to be uh, using the toilets as well right so that's a thing um and what we might do now i saw avec build um avec build a toilet a bit like this a while ago when he was playing the demo and um i really liked it and now that we can place these toilet doors on corner walls here like this um it means that the toilet can be um smaller um than how we used to have it because you used to have to put the toilet doors in the middle of a of a three wall like you do with the ward door even though it's small so but we can put it there now which is fantastic fantastic what i might do is put hand dryer uh actually i think we might no we will put the hand dryer there um don't need a fire extinguisher in here that's not necessary but making it nice we could maybe pop that in and that uh, may be a bin might be nice in here there we go that's pretty good right that's pretty good and then we unlock phones later on and i'm thinking this might be a nice place to have like a little private telephone nook <clears throat> now we're gonna have to take this item away from this this man sorry i'm very very sorry about that we're just going to move these bits over here. So that's where our toilet's going to be. So it's easily accessible um, for the patients as well. Although it is quite a long way from the staff room. There she is. So if she wants to go to the toilet, she can do. Um, see, her energy is going up really quickly. All right. And, uh, oh, further diagnosis. We're hearing reports of some new illnesses in town. These might be hard to diagnose. We may need to build a new diagnosis room if the GP is uncertain. Excellent. So we've unlocked general diagnosis. So she's got some cheesy gubbins. We have actually changed the colour of that, which is nice. But that should have, yeah, her hunger is all good. She's thirsty, though. Can you see? And she needs the toilet. Is she going to deal with it? As you expand the hospital with more rooms and stuff, the hospital level increases. This is here. Look, you can see we're almost at um, level three. Um, a larger hospital attracts more patients. As the hospital gets busier, queues may start to get long. We may need to build more GP offices and other rooms and hire more staff to deal with the extra patients. Look out for queue warnings. We will indeed. Yeah, don't believe in ghosts. There we go. So she just had a drink. There we go. And we can see that the first was instantly satisfied. What we might do is actually pick her up and do this. Because she really needs a toilet. Will she use them? Can we force her to use a toilet? Yes, there we go. Because how much longer is she on break for? Not too much longer. Excellent. Excellent. I can hear her making poop. 
poop sounds. Um, do we have a GP? Oh, look. Oh, my God. Look at this. Jock Plum. He's going to be our new GP. Because he has the GP qualification. Did you see that? Look, general practice. He's going to be a little bit better than she was. He's going to be faster and better. Uh, stronger. <laughs> uh, so, um, what we're going to do, actually... I'm just going to come into here. Yes, these lists. Thank you. And we're going to go to the staff list. This tells us all about the staff list, but I shall tell you all about the staff list. So we're going to go into here. This is the job assignment area. And we can see here we've got two doctors. And I'm about to build... I don't want her to work in general practice. And I'm about to build general diagnosis. And she will be perfect to work in there because she has a diagnosis skill. So that's going to be what she will do. Excellent. Um, but we shall leave that for the next episode, I think. Yes, indeedy. Thank you for watching. I hope you've enjoyed the episode. If you did, please hit that like button. As long as you are here, why not check out one of my delectable videos available? Feel free to come stalk me on social media and be sure to share this video with friends so even more may watch my shizwa. See you next time, peeps.